welcome to your reading this is going to be for the season of leo and it's going to start on july 22nd and continue until august 22nd we are also going to have a new moon in leo in july on july 28th now uh, what i'm seeing for you virgo around this time is that you guys are going to have a lot of illuminations there's going to be a lot of that aha moments where you are going to find out a lot about the things that did not make any sense to you so uh, for instance if in your connection there were some aspects of it that you didn't know why it's happening the way that it is this is going to be a time when a lot of it is going to get clear so you're gonna have a lot of clarity when it comes to your connection now what is happening on your person's end is that I feel that your person um, energetically they haven't been aligned with you for quite a while okay they've been trying to perhaps catch up with you uh, but something that I see in the energy of your person is that they have been procrastinating so there has been this lack of action which is something that they have been um, thinking about they are thinking at this time of a lot of things that they have done um, wrong in the past whereas what they need to do right now or what spirit advice for them is that to focus on um, what is ahead of them or what is right now happening so they can take action instead of thinking what went wrong in the past I feel like they have a lot of shame a lot of guilt uh, this person definitely was not taking any action because they felt very guilty okay they know that perhaps certain actions that they did in the past or they didn't in the past like perhaps they haven't been initiating any um, communication is um not helping the relationship to move forward so um this is what i'm seeing for them but i definitely feel that a lot of um you know your person's energy is right now feeling that there needs to be some kind of an action here okay now this is the energy that has been showed up in the reading that i did for the full moon in capricorn if you guys have been watching that and um, i feel like a lot of that energy is still here because there's going to be a lot of new beginnings happening after that full moon after the completion of a very difficult cycle for both parties now um new moon in leo is going to bring a lot of um, new energies a new adventure and of course leo is an action-packed kind of a season because it's a fire sign so now let's take a look and see uh, we are going to take a look a little bit energetically and then uh, like mostly like 5d and then 3 uh, 4d and then 3d okay so i'm going to divide this deck and we are going to take a look at it and see what is happening for you guys okay because this deck is pretty uh, big actually i um combined it so it's actually two deck but it is from the same author all right guys now let me just okay i think that's good enough now what i'm going to do is that i'm not going to shuffle it with all of them because i feel like it's a lot uh but i think i'm going to put it half here and then um or here and then i'm going to use that one too okay so let's see what is the energy of you and your person virgo spirit please tell me what is going on we have the empress gratitude wow this is you definitely this is you Virgo what a beautiful um, energy coming and um, of course Empress has Libra and Taurus energy into it but I'm also seeing this as Virgo as to me this Empress looks like a Virgo uh, such a beautiful beautiful card for you guys I'm seeing that some of you guys have a tattoo um, in your on your feet or on your like close to your legs or somewhere like that they're saying that for some of you guys have that all right what else we also have rise them up okay beautiful wow this is such a beautiful card for you guys year of dragon as well for some of you guys we also have time to rise i feel like for both of you guys the spirit is saying time to rise okay for them um eagle could be or falcon is their um, uh, spirit animal we also have a new day dawns and i feel like this is the energy of the new moon um, in leo coming up a lot of dragon energy so year of dragon for some of you guys is being showed up let's see what else is going on spirit please tell me what is happening here oh my goodness talking about leo 
so for some of you guys yes this person could be a leo actually and it says have courage all right this is on their end and we also have be vigilant on their end again okay and let me get from this pile as well so that we have oh my goodness okay and uh, we also have change is inevitable uh, unavoidable okay on their end could be another earth sign for some of you guys as well um, another Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus as well and we also have uh, make the sacrifice okay on their end and we have need and uh, necessity okay this is the energy of the union it's beautiful it has the yin yang it has the sun and the moon all right and here comes like you guys your third eye chakra opening up all right we have a couple of more cards and i think i'm going to take them all okay uh we also have the cause and effect okay let me just uh i think it's stuck a little bit all right so the cause and effect is on your end we have choose love okay and uh, this is on your end okay and uh, we also have love your inner child all right um and i feel that this is on your person's end we have respond with grace we have the stack all right this is this is really really beautiful i feel like a little bit energy of that full moon is still a little bit here too we also have undeserving um, villains okay on your person's end and we also have made for um, motion for some of you guys i'm seeing like you guys could be into dancing actually i'm seeing some dancers here all right now i think that um i think that this is good let me see maybe we get maybe we get one more card actually let's get one more card wow it showed up okay what do we have we have do not fear the unknown so there is a new beginning happening for you guys okay for you and them no doubt uh, a new day dawns do not fear the unknown and we also have the need and necessity okay so um what is happening here let's see okay my lovely vehicles just give me a second all right so what is happening right now is that let's take a look at your person's energy first and see what's going on now um spirit is telling your person that um it's time for them to rise above and um what does that mean is that i feel like they could have been very much under the influence of, of some people some really negative people around them and these people really don't deserve your person love and attention however they have been uh giving away that power to them and i'm seeing that this is a time that spirit is saying that they need to really walk away uh from these people that they were around them and um if you guys see it says undeserving villains it's exactly that because i feel like they are just so unimportant in the life of your person but they have been giving so much time and energy and it's time for them to really leave that now the other thing is that I feel like they have been trying to avoid change because this person has been very used uh, to certain people or certain situations in their life that they just did not want it to leave that, okay? The other thing is that once they do that they know that they need to make some sacrifices in order to get into union with you and i feel like they've been trying to avoid that uh, but these sacrifices are actually good sacrifices it is for their own good i'm saying that there are some uh, parts of their life that has been pretty much like dead i mean even if they let's say you know sacrifice that is not going to be um, something that they are going to regret in the future this is something that they are going to be thankful uh, you know of themselves that they did that okay so you know but they've been thinking that you know maybe they shouldn't be uh, doing all of these things because it takes a lot of um, courage to change right they did not want it to change their life they've been trying to avoid it but the spirit message here is that change is unavoidable change is coming to the life of your person okay could be a year of snake um, i don't know if i mentioned that or not i think i did but um you see yeah it could be like an earth sign that um 
you know they have leo strongly in their chart okay and i feel like there were some you know and and if you guys take a look at this um snake is shedding skin right like they are just there is renewal uh there is change but i feel like they've been just like sitting and they did not want it to accept it but it's just coming for them whether they want it or not they are shedding the old skin okay a lot of aspects of their life i feel like it has been dead okay um and also the other thing that spirit is showing is that look at how the third eye of this person is opening up i feel strongly that this is an earth sign you know uh, but they have leo <laughs> they have leo look at that and to me this looks like exactly like the leo here look at that look at the face even so this person is an earth sign another earth sign uh, another uh, virgo capricorn or taurus with leo in their chart okay very also um i feel like your person is actually someone who is very uh, they used to be like very confident i mean this is not them this hasn't been them okay they've been feeling dead inside for some reason they've been feeling like you know life has been losing its meaning for them okay but that's because they've been lacking the courage to make these changes in their life some parts of it that was dead but you see there's also an egg so something new is happening i feel like they're shedding their old skin coming out of it and also finding the courage to talk to you or to come forward i feel like they've been scared all right they've been scared that maybe you are not going to accept them there's also the moon here you see i feel like your person is also someone who could be very uh, actually quite intuitive okay um there's also interesting because this part there is the moon or it's night and this part is the sun so you know it's like the opposite the sun and the moon the masculine and feminine i feel like they've been um uh, in denial perhaps of some aspects of themselves okay i feel like they did not want it to um it's almost like they've been used to this kind of like feeling dead or feeling not alive that they just weren't um uh, they just did not want it to make any changes but change is here whether they want it or not you see with the dragonfly this dragonfly is moving towards the sun too um so and i feel like you know yes this t dark times or this dark night of the soul has been helping them perhaps to um uh awaken a lot of gifts in them especially when it comes to their psychic powers because their third eye chakra is opening up uh, but I also feel like it's time for them to move towards the light, all right? Like, it's time for them to actually have the courage to say goodbye to the old things, okay? And uh, that's why Spirit is also saying time to rise. This is beautiful. I mean, to me, this looks like a falcon. Uh, it could be an eagle or um, it also looks like a phoenix. could be a phoenix because it's not showing that uh, part of the fire. But to me, this looks like a fire bird as well um and that's why it says time to rise because they need to say goodbye to the old skin it's just that you know when you get so used to your old clothes but then they get you know as you are growing they get um they don't fit you anymore or they just um you know get worn out so i feel like this is the case with your person all right this is the case with them uh, I feel like your person is also very muscular, all right? Um, yeah, I feel like they're very muscular as well. Okay, now, um, yeah, I feel like there are some sacrifices that they need to make. But spirit, but spirit is saying that this is a good sacrifice, you know? This is because all of these good changes are coming for them. Um, I feel like the sacrifice is about these like so-called villains in their life, okay? It could be about these people, which is actually a good thing. They have to say goodbye to those. It's just not, it hasn't been serving the higher purpose, okay? Now, the other thing is that I feel like spirit is asking them to basically take action, okay? Um, I feel that... Um, this is the time that spirit is saying to them to be vigilant uh to act fast right now there is no time left to kind of like think about the past so this is the time for them to move forward 
um your person is um yeah definitely like a fire sign as well for some of you guys especially leo with um you know born in the year of dragon now i feel like your person uh, has been just holding on to a lot of um ancestral wounds okay something that has to do with their roots they did not want it to let it go okay they feel very very um close to certain um ideas or belief systems okay something like you know that is right now uh perhaps it's outdated and they need to move out of that okay um i feel like they've been always been um conditioned into certain situations that was forced upon them so spirit wants them to free themselves from that and and just acting fast because this is the time that they need to really find that courage within them and this is when the leo uh, season is going to help them i feel like look at the leo i mean it's just like the solar plexus chakra right like the power they're feeling like really powerful uh, this person you know they uh, care a lot about family values they have a great um really high uh, you know standards when it comes to family um so it could be that they've been putting a lot of um, there has been a lot of family pressure for them as well they, they have been trying to keep up with that but um you know of course some of these values are still valid but spirit is saying there are some things that are just ancestral wounds or ancestral like karmas that they need to just um that they are clearing it at this time once and for all so they can move forward okay uh this person also strongly i feel like they could you could have had like past lives with them they have a very strong root here on earth okay they do have that i'm seeing like this is a very old soul all right like they've been here for a while all right and uh, they also have love your inner child uh, this is really cute because this shows like a little dragon and um, you see how they are right now the big dragon i feel like you know uh, right now they became like this big dragon they've been also discovering the dark side of themselves perhaps as well going through that dark night of the soul had to make maybe yes a lot of sacrifices it's necessary for these changes and when it comes to their inner child they are um understanding it better they are loving their inner child because they always been under impression that they are weird that they're not lovable that they need to comply to um, society standards okay so that has been something that has been keeping them perhaps a little bit um uh not wanting to communicate with you or not wanting to take any action because they have been under um, the influence of other people or society okay this is what i'm saying and also the fact that they've been very much ignoring their inner child okay this is the time that your person is really really embracing themselves okay really loving their inner child understanding that maybe there are yes some silly parts of them that are really lovable actually and their weirdness is not weird at all because i feel like you always like love this person regardless of how maybe um uh how to say quirky or weird or i don't know or geeky or whatever that they seem like all right so that's with their energy and this is what's going on with them so definitely there, there are a lot of changes that is happening for them that they need to make a sacrifice for that okay so that's their energy just a second now what is going on on your end my lovely virgo is that okay so uh you guys are also it's time to um rise but it says raise them up and what i'm seeing here strongly is that i feel like this is just your um creativity and it says raise them up meaning that there's something like a um, hidden talent or something that has been like a idea that is almost like it has been in the inconce it has been conceived in you 
all right is coming out and spirit is asking you to take care of those ideas like nurture it and it says raise them up which is very uh, beautiful because the way that you are rising up perhaps is a little bit different from your person okay so take a note of that because for them they needed to find that courage within themselves but I feel like for you Virgo you already have that okay you just need to nurture uh, whatever that you hold really dear to that is dear to you it could be projects and for some of you guys I also feel that um, this could also be that for some of you guys you might be raising this person uh children as well i don't know why i'm seeing that for some of you guys all right not for all of you guys for few of you guys i'm seeing that um you might have you know you might in the future carry this person's um child because I also see that for some of you guys you are pregnant here and it says express gratitude but I feel like something that you always wanted maybe you always wanted to also have that kind of a family with them or for some of you guys yes if it's not about kids or having um, children I feel like there is an idea or project that spirit is asking you to nurture it okay I feel like you guys could have been um <clears throat> almost like pregnant with all of these ideas and now they're coming out and spirit is asking you to take care of them like do not ignore it just because right now this is the beginning all right but this is just so beautiful um for some of you guys yes you could have taurus or libra in your child year of rabbit as well is showing up but also when rabbit shows up it also talks about fertility sexuality and if you guys take a look this empress looks like she's pregnant and she's very grateful for what is about to come and this to me looks like uh, uh kids um I don't know it looks like something that um, you are expecting it's like you know this um, divine feminine is express is e expecting something uh, and she's very like grateful for it you know when they say okay uh, be grateful for the things that you're about to receive I feel like this is your energy because you are about to receive a lot of like blessings when it comes to this connection okay and I also feel like it's about not not only about this connection. I feel like it's about just you know in general in your life you're about to um, receive a lot of these blessings. That spirit is saying is that be grateful for them and also nurture them. Okay, so beautiful. Um, I feel like you guys love this person unconditionally. There's unconditional love in your heart. Okay, and. Um, yeah a lot of like um yeah and as i said i'm seeing like someone with a tattoo like in there like like a white rose or like a rose or i mean i don't know someone has a tattoo in their on their foot <laughs> okay now it's interesting we also have um this tag i feel like your person is gonna try to find the courage to um, message you this is what i'm seeing and i feel like you know they're asking you to basically whatever that you are going to say responded with grace but i feel like you guys are going to be like very kind to them because you love them unconditionally and that's why it says respond with grace all right there's a stag and the stag was the energy of the full moon in capricorn that we already passed it was the um uh, the buck moon all right and um and it of course it has that stag it could be so for some vehicles this could be your spirit animal that has been showed up yeah and then for them i feel like it could be like phoenix it could be uh for them also dragon there's also lion and of course that's leo energy uh that's being showed up okay i feel like you guys are not going to like judge this person or reject them but however they have that fear okay they're trying to find that courage to come forward and uh, that's what i'm seeing and um the other thing is that um yeah and it's interesting because it says choose love <laughs> okay all right um i feel like you guys are choosing love instead of like maybe you guys have been 
uh, whatever that has been happening happening within this relationship i feel like regardless you guys always choose love over like um let's say revenge hatred and things like that it's like you guys always um gonna go with love and it says choose love i feel like you guys are gonna be choosing each other especially for you virga i feel like you will you you still um are choosing love even though there has been a lot of pain a lot of difficulties with the roses with the red rose i mean yes it has been very painful but you guys still are choosing love regardless of all this pain and difficulties and challenges all right yes for some of you guys red could be your favorite color as well that's being showed up and yellow for some of you guys and this is made for motion and there is like a, um i feel like there is also yeah it looks like to me you guys are you guys are some people that um perhaps you love to always be on the move like you guys don't like stagnation so for some of you guys i feel like you could be dancers for some of you guys um it's just that maybe you decided to take action yourself i feel like you decided to just move things okay and when you decided to move things uh, things on this end is also moving perhaps okay so something about the solar plexus chakra again coming up and also for you guys your heart chakra your root chakra yeah your root chakra is also being showed up sacral chakra for some of you guys i feel like for you virgo also the other thing that they are telling me here is that there is something like a karma okay cause and effect there is something that you have done uh that is coming back to you okay this is your good karma all right that spirit is sending it back i feel like you guys have been doing a lot of good for other people and it's coming back to you as this um perhaps in a form of this love okay or a new beginning with this person definitely you guys that you are watching this yes your third eye chakra is open and there's also spiders so it's like your spidey senses are awakening okay you guys are weaving your own destiny uh, but by doing a lot of good things for the world that i'm seeing here okay again there's a stag energy like there's something about like the stag i feel like it's your spirit animal that's being showed up some of you guys you could have libra in your chart yes with, with the empress i also see that that could be uh, but of course you know it says express gratitude okay so this is not um basically it doesn't need to be the uh empress card but i must but i see that see this as virgo cards okay and yes it could be the empress because it just looks like the empress card but um to me this looks like a virgo all right uh libra energy is coming along too hold on a second so um yeah for some of you guys some of you guys are like maybe you guys are into belly dancing even or they're saying that it's good to move around like you move your body in a way because it's going to help to move the stagnant energy perhaps something that has been stagnant okay because there's something that has been um in you okay something that you really wanted is coming out okay like a pregnant woman or like a pregnant divine feminine all right just like this and and i feel like you are going to be very grateful for what is about to come okay hold on a second guys i think the camera is a little bit off here okay all right now the energy of the union is beautiful because there is like a new beginning happening and spirit is asking you do not be afraid of this unknown all right don't be afraid of what is about to come because i feel like both of you guys have been scared of what is going to happen now it says need and necessity and what i see here is that it's almost like you know this is the sun and the moon like without uh you know without the night the night there's no uh, there's no morning or there's no light okay so 
day and night so without the night there's no day that's what i'm trying to say like without yin there's no yang because if there's they are separated there's you know there's no yin yang all right so i feel like it's almost like the relationship or a connection that you guys have with each other is exactly like that okay it's it's like it's you guys are just meant to complement each other's energy all right not overshadow each other's energy and not complete each other but this is complementing all right complementing like becoming one uh and that's what i'm seeing and both both of you guys your third eye chakra is also opening up there's also raven to raven there's also again eagle all right is being showed up but you guys definitely are each other's opposite okay you guys are each other's opposite and there's the sun energy a lot of leo energy coming out very very strongly if you guys look there is a lot of sun uh energy into this reading and um, what a beautiful card because it talks about you guys okay the yin yang the yin yang lovers and we also have um a new day dawns all right so there is going to be a new beginning that is about to start with your person i feel like for you virgo you moved things okay you move things around you started to um work on yourself on your different projects your aspirations you've done a lot of good things for the world you've been trying to balance your energy or balance even your karma so you did a lot of like i see um your energy is more balanced right now just a second guys oh my goodness sorry guys um uh, it's just my allergy okay now um uh, this is what i'm seeing here uh for you my lovely virgos and this to me looks like a solar eclipse too okay this looks like a solar eclipse when the sun is meeting the moon this is what i'm also seeing so the timing could be sometime like around when there is a solar eclipse as well okay now let me get you guys some uh what should i get you guys yeah let's get you guys some of these as well let's get some tarot cards and then i'm going to also continue this on the membership side so join me if you are also being guided okay all right let's see what else is happening within your connection we're gonna get a little bit down levels and see what is happening okay we have the four of wands and this is very an interesting four of wands and i feel like this is on your end actually and we also have the ace of cups so there is a love offer coming from your person okay it is coming yeah it's coming from them i feel like they have an offer to give you this offer of love is coming for you virgo okay what else we also have the queen of cups so for some of you guys you could have water in your charts we also have the four of pentacles so this is this is like uh uh you're reaping the rewards of what you have been um you know suing like this is just um reaping the rewards or fruits of your labor that spirit is showing with the cause and effect i feel like this is exactly it okay um very very interesting energy is coming for you here you go okay some of you guys you could be an environmentalist we have the king of wands i mean no doubt this is a fire sign dragon year of dragon no doubt like you know this for some of you guys this is a very like a strong confirmation that's coming so it doesn't have to be leo but you know you know uh, leo has been showed up very strongly it could be aries and sagittarius as well okay let's see what else is coming up okay we also have the ten of swords this is on your end 
we also have the moon no doubt you guys have moon you guys have cancer or Pisces in your charts yeah no doubt okay yeah very very intuitive a Virgo with cancer or um, Pisces in your chart okay what else is going on with the um, um, five of swords on your person's end and uh, we also have the two of pentacles on your person's end and we have the full energy wow this is like yeah this is like a new day dawns this is exactly it okay and we also have the eight of pentacles some of you guys have been doing a lot of rituals um especially at night like lighting candles doing a lot of um yeah i'm seeing like you guys have been uh you know having your own sacred space you know maybe putting a lot of candles in your altar or even like doing it in nature making like um magical circles whatever that you've been doing i feel like you guys have been doing a lot of um moon rituals that's what i'm seeing okay connection to the moon of course is being showed up very very strongly now let's see we got two more cards and see what they are oh wow okay we have the seven of wands okay on your person and you also have the hermit oh my god this is you virgo okay but i also feel like they could also be a virgo as well but however this is your um energy that's being showed up some of you guys are really heavily into gardening yeah i see that or into herbs okay herbiology uh for some of you guys okay you guys love like plants you guys have a lot of plants this is what i'm seeing too okay actually let me get some more because i feel like we need more okay we have also two of wands on your person's end and we have the lovers okay this is it for you way go this is it okay all right now just give me a second here all right so oh my goodness a lot of things are happening for you my lovely Virgos. i mean definitely there is a love offer coming and um i'm going to continue this on a 3d on the membership site guys so join me if you are being guided but no doubts we go that you are you know receiving this um the fruits of your labor is finally like giving you the results okay this is what i'm strongly seeing oh my god this is just beautiful really really beautiful energy for you my lovely virgos and um you guys also have the lovers cards how beautiful i'm also seeing a lot of traveling for you guys like you guys are going to be traveling to some exotic places <laughs> okay so let's get some actually let's get you guys some uh chinese zodiac years and see what is maybe for some of you guys it could be some confirmation year of rabbit yes i could see that it was very clear there year of snake again confirmation and we also have the year of boar or year of pig okay so for some of you guys could be a confirmation yeah snake especially and rabbit was showed up okay and um, now let's get you guys some tarot buttons for a confirmation uh, let's see all right leo oh my goodness this is crazy okay the hierophant and the strength card so taurus and um you know as i said your person is a leo that has strong earth in their chart so uh taurus in their chart you know but i also feel like they're very traditional this person is someone really values family okay they do this is what i see and i feel like they want marriage like this person is marriage oriented okay so leo showed up again oh my god can't believe that but of course you know we are getting into season of leo so i'm not surprised that leo's energy is coming along very very strongly but you know for some of you guys these are like crazy um confirmations okay i think that's good and um let's put them aside because we want to get some charms here all right now let's see what else is going on here let's get some charms i'm going to put that here okay my lovely 
There it goes. All right. Let's see what just happened. Okay. Let's see. All right. I think one more. Okay. All right. I think that's good enough. Oh my God. You guys got a lot. Okay. Got a lot actually. And uh, there are two things that showed up on their end. There's number three okay so it could be significant for them and it also says i'm planning to finally come and see you after all these years i miss you we will see each other very soon less than a month so for some of them this is what they want to tell you some of you guys this person is into sports it could be in, into construction especially uh, when it comes to sports soccer and basketball is being showed up uh, for some of you guys this person is could be like you guys could be in Australia they could be in US or vice versa US Australia uh, definitely traveling like you know could be like end of July or end of like August but yeah July is like I mean there is a lot happening for you Virgo it's just insane okay you also have Italy and Greece, so it could be that they are there. And it says, do you know how much I've been yearning to hear your voice and touch you and feel your lips on mine? It's been torturing not seeing you. And um, it also says, I always wanted to tell you how much I love you, but I couldn't say it. I never told you, but I fell in love with you the first time that I saw you okay it also says i see um I, I i want to see you again letter z letter l union happening in summer less than a month for some of you guys i miss you okay and uh, what else i'm in denial of my feelings because i need time to process them letter k letter t and this one i said that okay so definitely there is a new beginning you know yeah it's like you know this um this bird is coming out of the egg so definitely there is a new beginning again there's an emphasis on that um for you guys and uh it also says wait for me so you guys might be seeing feathers okay as a sign from spirit and this could be like your angels or your guys giving you some messages about your person and it also says i'm trying to resolve a family issue that has been a burden for a really long time yeah i told you guys it has to do with the family and it also says i know i've been quiet but i needed some time to resolve family issues this is not a like an easy family issue okay this has been something like really rooted uh, i feel like kind of like a ancestral uh, thing we also have turkey okay so Turkey, Greece, wow, a lot of countries are being showed up. Letter M, W, or L, or D, sorry guys, D, W, okay, D or W, or this is M, I'm not sure. It could be M or W. Yeah, I feel like it's M. M, letter D, the year of mouse as well. Things are happening like really fast right now for you guys, all right? Things are moving finally. Letter six, um, sorry, number six which is the number of gemini okay so with that lover's card i forgot to mention that is gemini as well i feel like both of you guys love maybe cycling together okay like both of you guys could have a bicycle like you have like some really um how to say like um hobbies that are very like similar you, you guys have the same interests perhaps okay um yeah very very interesting definitely this person is into sports american football football soccer uh basketball all right year of rabbit again is being showed up it's like alice in wonderland it's like you guys are gonna go down the rabbit hole yeah again rabbit oh my god letter y as well okay just a second okay there is a spider here so as a spirit animal is also being showed up um, a lot of red color i don't know if you guys noticing but a lot of red color so a red marine a red apple a red rocket and a red and then there's a strawberry and there's a red uh, butterfly all of that and you guys had like this um, red card as well and um 
Okay, two more and uh, I'm going to read it for you guys. Spring, summer is the timing. I just can't wait to see you again. Um, I really feel we are, we are about to meet. I feel this excitement in my heart. Um, okay, all right. I think that union is very close. Let her be. Okay and what else it says you and i are very powerful have a very powerful soul bond commitment of the heart okay there's basic of pisces or there's this um kind of like ring a promise will be fulfilled all right we have been a couple in a past life okay so definitely there's a past life with them as well and um yeah and again there is a dragonfly dragonflies has been showed up along with butterflies a lot in a lot of readings because there is a lot of powerful changes that are happening uh for both the masculine and feminine energy but if you guys take a look there is also this dragonfly here as well okay guys um I, I also feel like something about your person has like either like a ring like this like looks like Celtic or or something like that I don't know it's just like they have some kind of a, and it could be something that maybe like a wristband or something like that too I don't know it has like this Celtic kind of a I don't know the ring could be like that maybe wearing like a ring like this uh, yeah for some of you guys I feel like this person is could be a Sagittarius for some of you guys like Christian also very like religious okay very religious like very kind of like a hardcore religious you know they really truly be believe in um, Christ like um, that's another thing that I'm seeing okay all right my lovely virgos i hope that you guys enjoyed your reading i'm sending all my virgos so much love until next time